In a scheme to steal money from a law firm in Macon, four people conspired, and Brett Kelly was brought in by his girlfriend Tracy Jones to hold Gail Spencer hostage in her home. Brett would go on to assault Gail Spencer and strangle her. They stole her car and various prescription drugs and left with the intention to flee the country. But before jumping into the interrogation, let's have a moment of silence for Gail Spencer, the victim in this case. You tired? Yeah. Why are you tired? We got some at work. At work. Uh -huh. It's driving me crazy. It's stressful. Is it? Yeah. Stressful. It's very Stress stressful. How you been sleeping? Uh, I sleep. I have thyroid disease, so I sleep pretty good anyway. So you haven't been sleeping very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I wanted to talk to you again um, about um, Friday morning, the fifth of October. Okay. Now let's go over what happened with you that morning. Okay. okay. Tell me everything from the, that starting. Okay. When, when I got you, up. When you got up, okay. and let's go through the story. All right. I got up, and I realized that. Uh, well, I realized the night before I didn't have any more Lord has. Right. Okay. And I remember my friend had told me that there was a guy over there. I might have been on the wrong road. I don't even know. Who's but your friend? Brandy. Brandy. She had told me that you know that she knew a guy. His name was Eric. He lived on Holly Mill something. She kind of gave me the directions, and so I said, "All right. Well, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go over there and see if I." If the lights are on or something, mm -hmm. I'll knock on the door and let him know I know her. Mm -hmm. So I got over there, and I'm like I said, I might have been on the wrong road. I don't know, but I chickened out. There was no lights on none of the houses on that road. So my car wouldn't crank. So I walked up to Gail's because I knew Gail lived there. I was kind of scared she'd say me right by, and she'd be like, well, what are you doing over here? You know what I mean. So I knocked on the door. She came to the door. I said, Gail, can I have something to drink? My car broke down and I got to pee. I had to pee really bad. Right. She said, yeah. So we walked and she walked me into the bathroom. There was no toilet paper and I had to holler, Gail, there's no toilet paper. So she just cracked the door and, you know, kind of threw it in there to me. Well, I came out and I said, well, get me something to drink. She kind of stayed in her bedroom the whole time. And I got me something to drink and I heard the door shut because I was at the, the sink. And so I hollered through the door. I said, Gail, I'm going to go try my car if I don't go <coughs> back. If I don't come back, you'll know I got it. And so, and, but if not, I'm going to have to come back. You might have to take me home so I can get ready to come to work. And Why'd you go over to Gail's? I told, I just told you that. Why did you go over there? Why? Mm -hmm. Because I was kind of scared she had saw me ride by or something because I knew she was up because she's told me she gets up early every morning. Mm -hmm. So if you were scared that she saw you ride by, why would you go over there? Because I... Because I was scared she saw me. And then she'd be like, well, what are you doing over here? And I'm not going to say, okay. oh, well, I'm over here trying to find some drugs. All right, so anyway. You know what I mean? So you go back to your car. Mm-hmm. Continue. Okay. I get back to my car, and I try it, and it cranks up. And so I, and I go. And I go home. I get my son up. I get him ready for school. I get ready. I take him to school, and I go straight to work. Your son? My 15-year-old. Okay, your 15-year-old. I thought you said you had two. I do, but the 17-year-old don't go to school. Okay. What's their names? Uh, Scott and Dominic. Scott and Dominic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you get dressed, take them to school, and then what? I went straight to work. What time did you get to work? About 8.30. Okay. What kind of car were you driving? My car. Your car? Mm hmm You have what? Uh, Honda Civic. Okay. What color? Silver. All right. Was there anybody with you? When? When you went over... To where Gail is at. No, nobody was with me. All nobody was in the car. Mm -mm. Did you ever use Gail's phone? No, I did not use Gail's phone. Okay, all right. Um, what was wrong with your car? The I think the battery cable gets loose sometimes because it does it on me often. Okay. And so usually when it don't crank, the first thing you would do is shake that battery cable, right? That or, or just sit there for a little bit and it'll finally it'll finally crank. I don't know why it does it, but I guess okay. it just it needed it tight. You know? But that morning you decided not to sit there and wait or jiggle around with it. You just walked over to Gail's. Yeah, I was nervous. I was scared because I never knew I never knew this guy. I don't, I'm don't. i not one to go buy drugs. I really didn't know what to do with myself. You know what I mean? So I said, well, I'm just going to walk over to Gail's. I was scared she'd saw me, get me something to drink. I was about to die of thirst mm -hmm. and I had to pee really bad. So I said, I'll just walk up here. And I knew she had been sick. You know, she was sick Wednesday. I didn't get to see her Thursday at work. What was she wearing? Was she in her pajamas? No, she. I think she had on work clothes. Like what? I, I can't, I'll be honest, I can't remember. It seems like it was a, um, seems like it was like an orangey top or something like that. But no, she had work clothes on. She. I know it wasn't pajamas. 
Okay. And she told me, she said, well, i got to get ready. And she, like I said, she hauled that back to her bedroom. It's she like got she didn't want to deal with me or something. She got a glass of water, right? Yeah, I got me a glass of water. Okay. Was it a glass, a cup? It was a green cup. Green cup, mm -hmm. okay. So you can remember it was a green cup, but you can't remember what Gail yeah, was Yeah, but I guess because I, you know, I looked at it. But like I said, because she came to the door and she like hauled butt back to her bedroom. Okay. I couldn't tell you what I had on that All morning. Right. Well, let's do this. Let me let me go ahead and let you know this, okay? Okay. All right. And I'm not trying to be rude or mean. Mm -hmm. All right. But I am going to be firm with you. Okay. All right, Tracy. Um, the the lore tab deal going over there to Eric's and everything. All right. I've already confirmed that's a lie. That's no, a lie. That's not listen, a lie. listen, listen to me. Okay. Listen, Tracy, I don't know if you have done gotten yourself. I don't know if you were involved in this from, from the beginning or if you got drug into it and didn't mean to. But your story about going over there to get drugs, I've already done I've already done talk to people that said no. No. It's it's a lie. Okay. And the fact that you knew where Gail lived at, no, that's a lie too. Okay. All right. So listen, the only thing you're gonna do is make it harder on yourself. Okay. So let's stop the bullshitting. Do you want to help yourself, or do you want to go deeper? And get I'm not bullshitting. I don't know what happened to her. She was fine when I left. That's all I know. How, how would I have anything to do with what happened to her? I also know that you weren't alone. Yes, I, I was know. alone. No. Tracy, yes, I was no. alone. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Negative. You were not. Okay. You have kids. Yes, I do. Okay. You have a 15-year-old. Yes, I do. Right. And how old's your other? 17. Okay. Do you, you're 15 year old, mm -hmm. right? He's still in school, still yes. basically a baby, yes. everything else, okay? You need to start thinking about him, okay? I know that. All right. So you need to start thinking about him. Now, are you going to keep lying to me or not? I'm not lying. Why would I have anything to do with any Tracy, of this? Tracy, we know better. Tracy, we know better. We know better. Okay. Okay. We know better. All right. We know. We know things already. All right. Okay. So now you're gonna sit here and lie or not? I mean, I'm not lying. I've I've told you everything. All right. You didn't go over there to get no lower tabs. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Who gave you the information? My friend Brandy. Brandy who? Fulford. Okay. So, if I talk to Brandy, is Brandy gonna say, Yeah, yeah, I told her. She, I'm sure she will, but her husband don't know she takes lower tabs, so uh -huh. I don't know. Okay. But she told me that. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, I don't have anything to do with none of this. And it's really, it's it's really breaking my heart that, that I like Gail. I love Gail. All right. I don't know what happened to Gail. But I know that she's I... She's dead. I know she's dead. Okay. And you don't think that don't upset all of us? All of us is in who? Me and everybody at work. Yeah. It's driving us crazy. Let, let's do this, Tracy, okay? Let's do this. Let's put it... All right, you are there at Gail's house that morning. Gail is getting ready, you said, to go to work. It, it looked like she was to me. Okay. Gail doesn't show up to work. All right? And we all thought that was weird. Okay. Then, Saturday morning, at 3, 3.30 Saturday morning, she's found dead in her house, still with her work clothes on. You are the last person to see her alive. But that don't mean I had anything to do with it. I don't know. You are the I one know you're I didn't. have to convince me. I know that. I didn't. Why do you think I, look, why do you think I was telling you? I don't know if there's something that you got drug into. I promise you, I'd have okay. no. If I if I knew what happened to her, I would be. I would have done came to you and told you, because I'm that type of person. I would have done came down here and said, "This is what I think happened," or "This is." What, I don't know. It was just got, a coincidence. Listen, I've got two different versions that you told about what happened. That you were taking a friend home. And, and I told you why I told my work that. Right. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't want them to know I was over there looking for drugs. You didn't have to tell them that. Okay, Tracy. well. But it, it doesn't, you see, let me, put yourself in my shoes. Would that make any sense to you? I understand why it don't make no sense to you. Okay. okay? Right. But that was the way I, I mean, if you think I had anything to do with that, why would I even tell my work I went by there? I mean, that would have been stupid. That's Hello? right. That's right. I don't know. I've seen a lot of stupid things. It's a things coincidence. Happen. I am. All of this is just a coincidence? That I happen to be by there. Of course it is. I can never do nothing to hurt anybody. I didn't say that you hurt anybody. And I couldn't have anything to do with any of it. There's no way I could have anything to do with her. Tracy. I loved her. I can't even handle that job without her there. It's driving me crazy. Tracy. Tracy. Listen. I know. Okay?
I don't, but there's You don't know it. how stressed I am. You have no idea without her there. It's driving me crazy. It's driving me nuts. I really just want to quit my job because I don't, I don't know that I can do it without her there. And, but I can't leave him there with it because none of them, like, we have a closing day at 3 o'clock. None of them know how to do it but me. And I just had to walk up and leave everything. Well, and none of, they don't know how to do it. Well, and I can't walk up and leave them like that. I promise you, if I know anything or if I knew anything, I would be the first one down here telling you. Now, if y'all think I had something to do with it, I mean, what do I need to do? First of all, he's not saying you had anything to do with it. No. He's saying you have a lot more information. I don't, and you don't, I don't you may think not even I realize have any more information. Because the people that we got in this, you know every single one of them. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. What did I tell you, Tracy? I told you. We know things. We already know. Okay? We already know, Tracy. Yes, Tracy, we do. Okay, I, I'm confused. The people, the same people that you know, okay, are involved in this. I don't understand how. I would know anybody involved in any of this. Who all do you know? I mean, I know, I know a lot of people, but... Mm -hmm. I asked you yesterday, who all the people that you hang out with or that you're around, you were only able to give me one name. I had one of your coworkers came down here and was able to give me three or four names that you that, that they know that you have mentioned that you hang around with. Well, I mean, of course I have friends, like my friend Tessa yeah. and... Tessa, okay, keep going. Um, Tessa and, um, let me think, another girl named Tess, um, Brandy, um... I mean, I, I have friends I hang out mm -hmm. with. I, I even asked you about guy friends. You were only able to give me, what, what was the name that you gave me? Jason Woody. Jason I know Woody. a Jason Law. I mean, but I don't really hang out with any guy friends. Okay. Um, I didn't say nothing about hanging out. All right? People that you know, people that you may socialize with from time to time. You know, you were only able to give us that Jason Woody's name yesterday. Is that right? That's right. Your uh, coworker came down here, and I asked her about names that you may have brought up, people that you hang out with or whatever, and she was able to give me a Mike, a John, a Brent, and she's just a coworker. Okay. First off, I don't know no Mike. What? Oh, Mike Wasworth. That's my friend Stephanie's husband. Okay. Um, I know a Brent Joyner, but me and him don't even talk or anything. Who is Brent Joyner? I went to school with him. Okay. Yeah, uh, Scott Chapman knows him. Okay. But I'll never talk to him or mm -hmm. hang out with him. Um, and who was the other one? There was a John. The only John I know is John Rowland, I believe, and that was my third husband's best friend, and I don't ever talk to him. So I don't know where them names came from. What about friends of your sons? They come over to your house. I mean, he's got friends. Like who? Um, let's see, Jeremy and Daniel don't really come over there anymore. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Jeremy, uh, Hunter, Nick. I mean, he's got a lot of friends that come in and out of there. Anybody that frequents often? Yeah, they all do. They, they all come over often. there just about okay. every day. Who else? I mean, you really want me to sit here and name all their names? My son's friends wouldn't have nothing to do with this. Okay. They're Did I say 16 they were? to 17 years old. That doesn't mean nothing. I've not, I've, we've worked where we're 14 yeah. years to kill people. Okay? All right. I guess I just can't imagine that. It happens. I'm Trust sure me, Tracy. It does, it does. But I can't imagine that it would happen. I couldn't never imagine anything like this would happen again. Well, it did. I know Tracy. it did, and I can't stand it. And okay. I'm sorry, but I don't know how more I can help you. You said you know a Brent. Who? A Brent Joiner. Brent Joiner. Right? Uh huh. Okay. How about a Brent Kelly? That's my son's friend. Okay. You didn't name him. I mean, I forget some of them. You I just top that you. right off the right off your, your tongue right then. Okay? I just told you that he's got a lot of friends. 
a lot. And you they, just, but that name, as soon as I said it, it wasn't like, well, hold on a second. Because they, they're friends. Okay. You were able to pop that name right out, right out your mind. Okay. You went over to Gail's for a specific reason. It wasn't because your car broke down. Like I said, I don't know, okay, if you were put into this situation, okay, and I'm sorry if you were and you didn't want to be, but you were drug into it, or I don't know if you were in on it from the day, from the get-go, okay? But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to tell us, all right? I don't, I don't know what else I can tell you. What uh, what business is at two thirty three Peachtree Street, Atlanta, Georgia? It's a passport place. Mm, why would you need a passport place? Because I would like to go out of town one day. Out of town. Yeah. One day. Mhm. Mm I plan on me and my kids and going to the Bahamas or somewhere as soon as we can, just for a couple of days. Are you aware that it's an expedited passport place? No, what does that mean? That means they do it fast. Oh. Uh, Two weeks. Boom. And it costs a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I understand. You know you can get a passport at CVS. Yeah. No, Walgreens. I didn't, I didn't know you could just go in Yeah, it just takes one. longer. And it only costs a little bit of money. Yeah, I didn't know that. When did you contact this passport for us? Um, I don't know, one day last week. One day last week. Okay. You don't remember what day? No, I don't remember what day. Who did you speak to? What do you mean who did I speak to? I called them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And who all was planning on going with you on this trip? Um, well, I want to take my boys, but there's some things I have to get their daddy to do. Who's so, their daddy? Leonard Scott Daniel. Leonard Scott Daniel, okay. Mm -hmm. So, why would Brett's name be involved in it? Because him and my son are very good friends, and he wanted to go with us. You said one day. You're talking like it's going to be next week. Well, I mean, Trans I would like to go soon, to be You don't know if that boy next, I mean, you're talking about one day. You said, no, you said one day, Tracy. You said one day. Now, if I tell him one day, I'd like to get married. That might, could be a year, five, years five ten now. years from now. <laughs> but I'm not going to go out and okay. buy an engagement ring. You, right? you are just, you're taking my words and, and you're... Them. Just We're telling you exactly how we take it. All right. That's what you told us. We're just I'm just repeating exactly back to you. I just said you said one day. That doesn't mean next week. If you were going to go next week or next month or even a year, then you would have said, "Well, I, we're getting ready. We have plans, just like people do on a cruise. Well, next year we're going to go on a cruise." But you said one day. One day. And then you then you said, "Brett, one day I'm going to take Brett." Do you see, Tracy, it's not adding up. Everything. I like completely understand it's not adding up. I completely do. But I, I've told y'all everything. I've no. told you everything. No, Tracy, you have Yes, I have. No. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to go on and let you know this now. Okay. Right. How do you think that Gail died? I don't know. All I know is what Patsy told me. Okay. Homicide. Do you know what homicide means? That murder. means murder. She was murdered, Tracy. The person that you worked with every single day, okay, this 58-year-old woman that has a son that had two little grandbabies, okay, all right, that she loved, all right, she, she was murdered. She didn't commit suicide. She I didn't, didn't fall she and hit her head. Suicide. She was murdered by someone. Brutally. Brutally murdered. And possibly even raped. Yes. Yes, Tracy. Raped. Yes. She was raped. Okay. Asphyxiation. Which means she was held down. Okay. And someone suffocated her to death. Alright? Not pretty. Mm -mm. Okay. I just left the autopsy. Alright? This woman who's never hurt anyone in her life that's done everything and that she's supposed to do. She raised a child, single mother, on her own, worked hard every single day to provide a life for him, okay? Every day. 
She's worked. She's 58 years old, she was. was still getting up every day and going to work. All right? Hadn't hurt a soul, never been in trouble in her life, paid all her bills, done exactly what she was supposed to do, and then someone comes inside her house and kills her. And not only killed her, but possibly even sexually assaulted her. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel awful. Okay. And the last person that was there it wasn't me. was you. I know. Okay. How do you think that makes me feel? I didn't say that you killed her, Tracy. I didn't say that. I did not say that at all. I've never said that. But you know more, and we already know. If you hadn't figured that out by now, come on. I'm trying to give you a rope to pull yourself out of this, girl. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to give you a rope. Now, you can do one of two things. Either you can take it and save yourself, or you can drown with the rest of them. I don't know anything else than what I've told you. All right, well. I wish I did. I wish I could sit here and tell you something that would help, but I don't. You want to, Tracy. I can look in your face. I don't know. If I had something to tell you, I swear to God I would tell you, because I love Gail. Everybody that knew you and Gail said that you and Gail did not get along. And yet we didn't get along at the office sometimes, okay. but we talked all the time. You talked all the time? Yeah, we, we would sit down in there in that break room, in the smoke room in Calder's office, and she would tell me things about her and her family. And I promise I would tell you. If I knew more, I would tell you. You said earlier that if I spoke to Brandy, your friend that told you where this, this Eric lived at, right? Mm -hmm. That she would she would say that she did, didn't she? She gave you yeah. directions. Let me go ahead and let you know something. I had Brandy Fulford, okay, who is now Brandy Caves, mm -hmm. down here yesterday after you left. Okay. And Brandy says she don't have a clue what you're talking about. Yeah, because she don't want she don't want her husband no. to know. She's not gonna get herself involved in this. Okay. okay? She said, right here, said she don't have a clue what you're talking about. And she doesn't even know no Eric. Said that you guys aren't even really that close. Oh, well, I know you're lying now because we're very well, close. I'm lying. Okay. Well, she lied because we're very close. We talk almost every day. I don't know. Your definition of close doesn't seem to be yeah. the same as ours. No. We've got all your co-workers and everything else saying that, that Gail didn't care too much for you because okay, of your well, work Gail out. didn't care too much for me. I had no idea about it. Because as far as I knew, me and Gail were fine. You know, we have fingerprints, mm -hmm. okay, and we, you know, house and fingerprints and stuff like that and all, all right, so you know people's prints are going to be at the house, mm -hmm. all right, so your prints are going to be there. They should be, I mean, right. I walked in there. All right. And see, generally, you know, what, what, I'm, what I was talking to you earlier about, okay, and you sit here and say that you, what, I don't have no involvement with it or whatever, all right. Now, what's going to happen, because generally, you know, all the suspects, they will, it usually during, you know, the interviews, they're going to admit to it because they know about these fingerprints, right? Mm -hmm. And then what's going to happen when they say Tracy was there? Ain't nobody going to say I was there. They're not? You sure no, about that? I'm positive. Okay. I'm positive. Because we've already talked to people, other people, before we brought you down That's to Tracy. That's fine, because they're not going to say I was here. Right. I was there, whatever. You know I was in the house. I told you I was in the house. The second time. No, I was not time. in the house the second time. The first time you told your coworkers you never even went in the house and that you used No, I did too tell them I went in the house because I told them I had to pee. Why are they at their admin about it? I don't know because I told them I had to pee and I was about to die of thirst. I was so thirsty. Well, I, they don't have any reason to lie, Tracy. Well, undoubtedly they don't just remember or something because I know what I said. I told them I went in the house. They gave a pretty vivid story about what you said the first time to them that morning when you got to work. Okay. I don't know. But I didn't eat lunch because I'm feeding getting fed a lot of shit today. Yeah. 
Why would Brett need a passport? Because we were all going to go out of town. You were all going to go out of town. You said that before. Obviously out of the country. Yeah. yeah. You don't need a passport to go to Alabama. No. No, but you do if you want to go to Mexico, if you want to go on a cruise. Or well, how about Canada? <laughs> Whoops, that one caught you off. You need one in Canada, too. Mm -hmm. Why would he get one in Canada? What do you mean in Canada? Mm -hmm. He didn't get a passport in Canada. He did. You sure did? I know of. Not you know of? Mm -hmm. You gonna sit here and you just gonna bullshit me all day long, aren't you? I'm not bullshitting you. Yes, you are. I mean, you don't even have a trip planned, according to you, and he he goes and gets a passport just like that. It was just something we decided to go up there and get a passport. Did y'all go up there together and get one? Yeah. What day? Thursday. Mm -hmm. The day you called out sick and said you're taking your mama to the yeah wherever. Great. Hospital Amory, something like that? Emory Hospital, yeah. Emory. See what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Who all was with y'all? I know there was more than more than just you and Brett. It was me and Brett and his sister. Who's his sister? Courtney. Courtney who? Kelly. Courtney Kelly? Mm hmm How about a Shelly Kelly? I don't know no Shelly Kelly. Okay. Did you see one? Okay. I understand. Now, why would he go up there and get a passport for Canada that day? I don't know. I didn't know that he got one for Canada. You were there? Yeah, I was there, but I didn't, I mean, I, when you get a passport, I didn't realize it had where you were going. There is no way, Tracy, that you're going to drive someone to Atlanta to get a passport and not know where they're going. Just out of curiosity, if I took this man to Atlanta, if he said to me, hey, can you take me up to Atlanta to get a passport, all right? There's going to be a conversation at some point. Where are you going? Where are you going? What you doing? Yeah. Because we, I, I just told you that. We, he wanted, we were all planning on going somewhere. Where? I just told you. Okay. We're, I mean, come on. You haven't told us where. No. And I you, told you I want either we we Mexico or we can take a Those cruise. are just a bunch of, that's just. You're just having off names. Yeah, just exactly. Names so when I go get my kids' passports, we can just get up and go if we want to. It ain't got to be no rigmarole. I just asked you, where did you get the passport for and you said you didn't know? No, I told you a minute ago so we could all go together. No, where he was good. I didn't know you could get a passport and say, okay, I need a passport to go to such and such. Trace. What? Let me just be blunt with you. You're full of shit. Okay. And there isn't anybody in this room that believes you. Okay. What was it? Did you get a phone call to come over there and pick somebody up? No, I didn't. Gail's house? Is that what that was? No. Is that what it was? That's why you didn't get dressed for work yet. That's why you had to run over there, pick them up, and then go back and, and, and get dressed and then go into work. No, it's not. It's not? No. Okay. Did you take someone over there? No, I did not. I went by myself. Well, Who's Lisa? I don't know Lisa. You don't know Lisa at all? Mm -mm. You sure about that? I'm pretty positive. I don't know Lisa. Is it positive or not? I don't know it. That I can think of, no, I don't think I know Lisa. Lisa Kirby? Sound familiar to you? Who? Lisa Kirby. I don't think I know Lisa Kirby. That sound familiar? Mm-mm. She's related to Brett. I don't know her. What's your relationship with Brett? He's my son's friend. Is he? Mm-hmm. Anything else? No. Hey, what I'm getting. Mm -mm. Okay, do I need an attorney? Because 
I mean, y'all are sitting here acting like I had something to do with this, and I did not. We're I saying most that definitely did we're not. saying that all these people's names have come up. All right? I don't understand how. But you know, I don't know Lisa Kirby. I don't know Shelly Kelly. Yeah, I know some of these. We'll take Courtney Kelly. That's close enough. Yeah, we'll take Courtney Kelly. That's fine. Brett. Yeah. No Brett. But all these people that you know, Tracy. That you know. No forced entry into her house over there. Somebody didn't break in and do it to her. I mean, I don't know how they got in. It ain't like I have a key to let them in. No, but she knows you. I was there for five minutes. And that same day, she ends up murdered. I know, I know that. And I feel like shit. But okay. I didn't have anything to do with it. And you said they. What are you talking about? You said they. I never. Who, who said that there was more than one person over at her house? What are you talking about? I, what are you talking about they? I said I didn't have anything to do with it. I'll talk to you further, Tracy. If you need to make a phone call or something like that, go ahead. Tell Scotty to make sure Dominic has a way home. Yeah. Hey, make sure, text Dominic, make sure he's got a way home because I'm probably going to be down here for a little bit. I'm probably going to be down here for a little bit, so just text Dominic, make sure he's got a way home. Okay. Make sure Dominic has a way home. Okay. I might be down. No, I'm not really. I love you. Hey. Hey. One, I want to remind you. If at any point in time that you're here, nobody's in here, you're going to have to beat on that door loud. Because okay. we're all around the corner if you need to go to the bathroom or something. Okay. I don't know a lot about this case, okay? I only know certain aspects and so forth. It's a horrible thing, what happened. Tracy, what I want you to understand is these investigators that are in here, they work hard, they're very good at what they do. Very good at what they do. Um, and, when I, and when I heard your name, I said, hey, I'll go pick her, I'm familiar with her. Their attitude wasn't that you've done anything wrong, they felt like they'd been lied to, okay? But it was that there's a missing link there that you hold, that they already know you hold. But see, the problem is this right here. They want to believe everything you're telling them. I don't understand what... what, what That's what, I, I'm, about, what I'm about to explain it to you. Everything, they want to believe everything you're telling them because there's one little piece here that you're not going to tell them makes them wonder how much of this other they can believe, okay? And... Nobody here is saying that that you committed a crime, okay? Nobody here is saying that you knew for sure that somebody else committed a crime. It's kind of like, for instance, you know, we come up together. If you saw me walking down the road and I needed a ride, you may pick me up and give me a ride. Or if I had happened to bump into you, let's say at the bar a couple nights ago, you say, hey, Scott, here's my number, call me sometime. And then all of a sudden, two days later, I say, hey, Tracy, I know I just bought a blah, blah, I need a ride, can you come get me? And you come pick me up. You may not know I got $10,000 to the dope in my pocket. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay? And you may not realize that you break that I, that I we're breaking the law riding down the road. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But you get a phone call and you're trying to help me out. Shit, man, next thing you know, the police picking you up. <laughs> what the hell? I understand. What do you mean? But if you said... Hell, I didn't even see Scott Chapman. They're going to be like, well, wait a minute. We know she saw Scott Chapman. 
damn, she must have knew he had that dope. She's worried about getting in trouble. I understand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you said, yeah, I picked this dumb ass up. Yeah, I gave him a ride. What's the fucking problem? They'd go, yeah, she didn't know he had that dope. <laughs> yeah. Because there's no reason to lie. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And that's all it is. Um, nobody here, you know, is, nobody here thinks you're a horrible person. Nobody here thinks you're a bad person. Nobody here thinks that, that, truthfully, they just think you're scared. Okay? A friend of yours got killed. Okay? Yeah. And the last thing you want to do is be implemented as part of that. Even if it was by accident. Because the last thing you want to have to deal with that at, at work. You know, yeah. you know, hey, yeah, these fools that got me tied into something. I didn't know what was going on. And it's hard for somebody in those shoes to say that because they're worried how they're going to be judged out there. Okay? And so trust me when I tell you I feel your pain. Okay? But trust me when I tell you that little bit of pain ain't nothing. You understand? That's something you can get over in time. You understand? Mm -hmm. This is something very serious that ain't going anywhere. That little bullshit that, that you may be worried about people at work or something like that, looking at you sideways or what people on the streets may think, okay, who cares, man? You've got to be honest with them. That's the thing, though. I am being honest. I don't understand. Sweetheart, I want you to understand something. My heart goes out to you. I know you got to hate this room right I here. Because it wasn't that long ago you was oh, in there. Know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know you got to hate this room. You're not telling the whole truth. And li all right, listen to me now. I'm real good at what I do, okay? And it's always tough in my job when I'm in a room or like this with somebody I know, okay? Because I know where your heart, I know you love them babies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You love them babies. Everybody's always talked about how you love them babies. So there's nothing that anybody's going to say that's going to make me look at you like a horrible person. You understand? Yeah. People who don't know you don't know you, okay? But I, it's real important. We don't want people to look at you like a horrible person. If you start, if you continue not to tell the truth about everything, they don't know you like I do. They don't know that maybe you got directed down the wrong path by some bullshit, that you're not a heinous person, okay? I can tell them all day long. Yeah. But... And they love me. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to want to, well, Chapman said it straight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, at the end of the day, when they know what they know, and you're sitting here going, what are you talking about? It's, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, even though I know you, and even if I didn't know you, that whole bullshit about I just happened to be in that neighborhood that morning and my car broke down and it started back up, I mean, if it was my own mother sitting here, I'd be going, damn, Mom, you should have come up with some better shit than that. You I know? mean, that really is what happened. <laughs> I understand, though. but I'm just, I'm just saying, I said, Mom, I mean, if you I don't anything dig that all up. It, it's like I told you, if I had anything to do with that, why would I have even told The same reason they all do. I would never have went to work no, and told them that. that. That's the same reason they all do, sweetheart. See, that doesn't mean anything to an investigator, and I'm going to tell you why. I've never interviewed a murder suspect that didn't put himself there prior to the murder. You know why? Because they already know we're going to get their fingerprints. And if they say they weren't there at all, and we get their prints, they're done. Yeah. So they always I, say, yeah, I, I was there earlier I've that day. I've been in our house before. Though, I understand. So. But, but see, we can tell by certain tests, like a fingerprint, whether well, that fingerprint was put there three months ago or it was put there yesterday. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, I mean, we can tell stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So, and anybody who watches CSI on TV, you know, oh. knows, I mean, I hate those shows. They tell, they tell everybody what we can do. Yeah. But... They all say, yeah, I was there, but I wasn't there when that happened because they don't want to get caught in that lie. Yeah. So they always admit to being there. So by you saying, if those investigators come in here, if you say, well, why would I do that? Sweetheart, every one of them always done it. They always do that. That's all part of it. But the thing about it is because I know you, I know you're not capable of doing what I know happened to this woman. Yeah. Okay? But there's no, thing, there's no doubt in my mind, sweetheart, regardless of what you say, and that's what, you know, when, when they come out and they talk to me, they tell me, I say, and, I, and I shake my own head because I said, that don't even make no sense. I don't know why she's saying it like that. And I asked them, I said, I'm going to go around there and talk to her. And this isn't my case. I so I wouldn't even be in here right now if they hadn't approved it. But I said, I know her. Give me an opportunity to go in and just well, talk to her. I, you know me. I, I, I take what I have. I have to take them. I, I have 
I have osteo—I mean, arthritis everywhere, and I have to take them. A friend of mine stole half my Lord's half of my pocketbook. Who? Uh, I think it was either Brandy or it was um, Amy, my cousin Amy. It was either one of them. I don't know which one. They both have. Cause y'all, you met up with Amy downtown not too long ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm saying. We real good about finding out everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I'm sure you are. So. So I mean, anyway, I—I I knew I was out. And I, she had done told me about this person. And Who I is she? Brandy. I don't care what she says. She didn't. Because you know I had Brandy sitting did. in that chair yesterday. I'm sure, but she's going to tell you she it didn't. Take, it didn't take me but about five seconds to find her. Yeah, it's, she's going to tell you she didn't. <coughs> let me tell you something, her. though. Just like and she's saying me, we're not well, close. Let me, ex let, let me explain close. something to you about, about Brandy or about people in general. There's certain things that we do to ensure that we're being told the truth. Like for instance, if I say, "Did you rob that? Rob that marathon?" No. So did you? Did you rob that Conoco last week? Yeah, I robbed the Conoco. Now, why admit to the Conoco and not admit admit mm -hmm. to the marathon? See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Brandy, we, we talked to Brandy, and we got a lot of truth out of Brandy. I feel like, okay. Now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you every aspect of our conversation because it wouldn't be fair to those investigators. Yeah. But the truth is, I don't give a shit what Brandy told you. There's too many things in that that just sounds like bullshit. And I'm telling you, I'm only telling you this because I don't want to see you look like a monster. You can continue to tell them what you want to. But they know it's bullshit. Okay? Alright? Now, they may let you chill in here for five minutes. They may let you chill in here for 15 minutes when they come back. But trust me when I tell you, if you continue to tell that lie, and I'm not saying that you got to say, Scott, that ain't a lie. You ain't got to tell me nothing. I'm only telling you that if you continue to tell that lie, they already know it's a lie. They can prove that lie. They already know it. I'm only reason why I'm in here right now, and I'm not going to tell you how they can prove it. The only reason why they're asking you isn't because they want to know. They just want to see how honest of a person you are. If yeah. you're, that's it. Because they already know the truth. You understand? They're just trying to figure out what side of the fence you're standing on. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of like Shane <clears throat> to me. Everybody knows I love Shane Anderson. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, if something ever happened and with Shane and I was the one that interviewed him, people are going to have to wonder yeah. what came first. My loyalty to Shane on my loyalty to the job. Mm -hmm. Regardless of no matter how well I do my job, no matter how hard I work to keep my integrity intact here, there's always going to be that people that, we work around them every day, mm -hmm. that always going to think the worst, always wonder, Tracy, you're lying. Now you can continue to lie if you want to, but they already know it. Okay? They know you're lying. It's only a matter of time before things blow up and you go, damn, I wish I'd have told them. And the truth is, one, I won't lie. Even if I knew specific dynamics about this case, I wouldn't tell you. Yeah. Okay? But the truth is, I don't know. I only know bits and pieces, and the only reason why they're coming to me with it is because it's you that's sitting here and they know I know you. And they come to me, hey, man, she this kind of person, she this kind of person. I'd be like, look, man, she's a good mama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's a good mama. I say, you know, she likes to party shit. How many times have you seen me drunk in a club? <laughs> I like to party. You know what I mean? I mean, if she's guilty of that, I'm guilty of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I love my babies. Yeah. I love to drink that stupid too. You know what I'm saying? I said, that's what I know about her. You know, it is what it is. And, um, but when they say, well, Scott, this is what she's telling us. I'm like, and I'm going, okay, okay. And they're saying, Scott, look. And I'm going, oh, shit, why would she lie about that? Because, Tracy, I know you're lying. They're very good at what they do. I've seen what it is. Mm -hmm. You're lying. Yes. It's okay. I don't judge you. For whatever reason you want to lie, that's on you. Because this is the thing. It's like back in my wild days when I... I've always been a good daddy and always been the best husband. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
a lot of women in my life here and there, this and that, and I can remember being confronted, I'd have to make a choice right then, okay, if I was going to lie, I was going to have to be willing to carry the weight of that lie, you know what I'm saying, well, I could tell the truth, okay, and deal with what comes, that's a choice I have to, I had to make many times in my life, okay, you are making that choice right now. Okay, and but we're not talking about a man. We're not talking about your boyfriend or your husband thinking you're cheating. We're talking about a dead woman. You understand? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of weight there. You feel me? Yeah. And my heart goes out to you because if you lie, you're going to be carrying the weight of that. Okay, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They can prove that lie all day long. And I'm just letting you know that. Don't lie to them anymore because that little bit of bullshit that you're lying about, let it go, man. I'm telling you, I know the lies that you told. I've seen it. I can look at it. And I'm telling you now, unless you want every bit of this right here on this table to look like a lie, when you may be telling the truth about all the way up to here and lying about this, but when you lie about this, guess what all this becomes in their eyes? Yeah. A fucking lie. It's all a lie to them because how can they believe anything you say? Just kind of like how, let's say you drop me off somewhere. They may say, hey, did you pick Scott Chapman up? Really? You can go, hell no, because you didn't. You dropped me off. But they're only giving you an opportunity to say, no, I dropped him off. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or if they say, hey, did you drop him off? No, I picked that motherfucker up. He went home with me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He stayed with me all night. Mm -hmm. They're not going to tell you what to say. They got to know that you read into it and you were wanting to be honest. You feel me? Uh-huh. I'm going to... There's really no point in continuing to lie to them. How do you want me to handle it when I walk back out there? Okay, you don't have to tell me the truth. But I'm on, I know they're going to ask me, dude, is she going to be straight up with me when I go back in there? Because whether you straight up with them or not, they already know the lie. Because I know the lie. And you know the lie. You ain't got to admit it to me, but you know the lie. Are you going to be straight up with them or not? I mean, I, don't, I really don't know what I'm lying about. I don't. I don't know what I'm lying about. Okay. I'm going to ask you directly. Okay. Remember how I said we can ask certain questions to see how you come yeah. back out a different way. When you went over there to that neighborhood, was anybody with you? No. Okay. Did anybody call you to come to that neighborhood? No. Okay. Did you pick anybody up in that neighborhood? No. Okay. Did anybody call you in reference to looking out for something or checking on something or anything? Come on, Tracy. No, not that, that I remember. What do you mean calling me? Tracy, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. What am I lying about, though? I you're lying about why you were in that neighborhood. I was really Tracy, in that neighborhood to find it. drugs. No. Yes, okay, listen to me. Sure. Whatever. Tracy, you're lying, baby. I'm trying to tell you. It's really ridiculous why you're lying. It doesn't make any sense. <sighs> Nobody here passes judgment. You know, we see the worst things down here. Okay? We deal with people doing all kinds of things. They locked up your old man for child molestation, right? Yeah. Okay? I mean, we see the worst shit. And when I see Scott, I'm like, what's up, buddy? You know what I'm saying? We do our job at the end of the day. Okay? It's up to a judge, jury, and the DA's office to decide people's fate. We're like secretaries. We document it all. We find probable cause to make an arrest. We do so. They decide your fate. We have no say so in that. Okay? We, you don't have to worry about people looking at you like you're awful. Okay? But when you lie, they think they're awful. You understand? Mm -hmm. We don't pass to. We know about Brett. Okay? We know about the relationship there. We know, we know about all that. I don't even care. It doesn't even matter to me. It doesn't. You, you, I'm sure that's probably got some embarrassment with you right now. You feel like these grown men are looking at me because I'm messing with this young boy or whatever. Who cares? Do you know how many, 
How many grown men around here wish they had a 19 or 20 year old girl? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who gives a shit? Demi Moore opened that door for everybody. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So get that. Who cares, man? I, mean, I don't understand what my personal relationship has anything to do with any of this. Okay. Sweetheart, that investigator's pretty much told you we know all the players in this deal. Mm -hmm. Okay? You have a direct link to the victim in this crime. She works with you. Mm -hmm. And you have a direct link to the vic to the suspect in this case. And you were in the neighborhood when everything went down. You can lie all day long, sweetheart. But at the end of the day, There's no point to lie. When I picked you up today, were you handcuffed? Mm -mm. No. Okay. At any point in time, has anybody advised you of your rights? No. So that means you're not what? Being arrested. You're not under arrest. Okay. Right now, we need a wit we're looking for a witness. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's what we came back here to talk to was a witness that has information that we know that you have. Now, when a witness doesn't cooperate and we know that they know information, what do they become? Uh, a suspect. Okay. We talked about that fence a little while ago. Mm -hmm. What side of the fence are you on? I mean, I want to be on your side. Okay, no, 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 because see, on my side is over here. Mm -hmm. You're a witness. I'm not going to lie to you, sweetheart. you coming real close to being a suspect. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Let me tell you why. Because you're lying, Tracy. Look at me. You are lying. I know you're lying. I know you're lying. I know it. They know it. They're sitting around there eating Arby sandwiches and Subway just waiting know, to come I'm back sorry. in here. Just waiting to walk back in here in a minute and go, Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. Why? For what? Help me understand. You got a little boy toy? Who gives a fuck? If he did something fucking stupid, and he, if you know about it, you need to stop. That. Sweetheart, be real careful about what I know. Because I've already told you at the beginning of this conversation what? I'm not going to tell you everything I know. Yeah. Let me ask you this. How long has this relationship been going on with you and Brett? Since like March. Since March, mm -hmm. okay. He been to work with you? No. He's brought me to work before. Brought you to work. You come in there and hung out? No. He ever met this woman that got killed? No. Hell no, he ain't. Mm -hmm. So if we know he committed a crime and the only way, the only link to the victim in this case is who? I don't understand how he could have done this. How could he not have? Why would he? Let me ask you a question. Sweetheart, we're not going to go through all that. Okay? I'm only going to tell you what... Have, how many times have you been picked up and brought down here? <laughs> Three times. Okay. All, hopefully the detectives hoping that you can provide information in this case. How many times have they picked up everybody else? You think that that's just weird? I mean, they, I don't know. I don't know how many times that. They, 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 like once? Yeah. Some of them none? You been here three times? No, this is the second time I've been down here for this. Second time? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. There's only one link between the suspect in this case and the victim in this case. But that, I mean, I don't understand. I, I just, I don't. I don't know if it made no sense. Okay, y'all went and got passports, right? Yeah. For what? Because I want to go out of town. Sweetheart, listen to me. Th that sounds retarded. I know it does, Hang but on, I no, plan no, no, no. on going no, back no. and taking the boys. I understand. I understand. That doesn't even make any sense. I plan. If you were wanting to go out of town with your boys, don't nobody want to make two trips to Atlanta. Okay, but I didn't have all their stuff. It doesn't matter. I ain't going. I was my plan on going back to So were you going to take... Brett with you when you went out of town with your boys? Yeah. And I was planning on going back up there this week until all this Let me happened. ask you this. Is Brett your friend or your son's friend? He's my son's friend. 
Okay. And your son doesn't know about this relationship. Was your son with you when y'all went to Atlanta? No. What day was it you took him to Atlanta? Thursday. And you got you one too? Mm hmm Let me tell you. There's one piece of something that I've said here that you know is bullshit. And I already know what it is. Because, see, I already know the lies that you told. I already know. Okay? So, therefore, I know what you know. And you know when I say that you're the only link, you knew that was a lie right then. Okay? There is another link to the victim in this case. And you know that. Yes, you do. Okay? And I saw it cross your mind. I wanted to see what your face looked like when I said that because you know. I'm going to walk out. I really, I really, I'm really just so confused. Now, there's nothing to be confused about. You wasn't in that neighborhood because your car broke down. They fucking know it. I know it. You know it. I was in the neighborhood to find drugs. Okay, they That's know why it. I was in the neighborhood. We know why you were in that neighborhood. Okay, period. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, some stupid-ass boy toy ain't worth I know the that. dumb shit. No, sweetheart. I think you're trying to figure it out. I think you're trying to decide. I think you're trying to figure out, fuck, you know, is it if I do something about this, am I going to get in trouble? Blah, blah, blah. Let me ask you a question. What do you think looks worse? I've already told you. No police officer down here decides anybody's fate. That's up to the district attorney, a judge, and a jury. We're like freaking secretaries. We do all the work and labor in the streets. They decide the fate in the case. When they decide the people's fate in this case, let's say I got a guy sitting here for robbing a store. When he says, Man, fuck you, cuz. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And let's say during that robbery, an old lady got shot in the leg or shot in the head or whatever. He looks at me like, fuck you, cuz. I ain't got shit to say. When people are looking at that, they're going to see what? A fucking monster. Damn, that joker don't even give a shit. He feels no remorse. Or if he said, man, oh, man, I didn't mean for that to happen. I never thought that was going to happen. When the people look at that, and he says, man, my kids were hungry, blah, blah, blah. The people who do decide your fate in this case, do you want them to view you as a liar? Or someone who may have got caught up in some shit feels bad about it? That's up to you, sweetheart. I can tell you right now, when those investigators get done writing this up, at the end of the day, you're a liar. And I already know it. I'm not judging you for lying. We all go through hard times, and we all have to carry the weight of that. We've all lied. It happens. Sweetheart, to lie about something like this is something that your shoulders ain't big enough. You understand? No matter how bad you want to carry the weight of this, your shoulders can't do it. You know I'm right. They can't do it, Tracy. Why? Help me understand. Because I know you're lying. Tracy, you're lying. Why? Help me understand. Help me go out here and tell these guys. What the fuck, man? There's... Because I'm honestly not lying. Yeah. I was in that neighborhood to find drugs. Tracy, fine. That's bullshit. We know what's going on. They know what's going on. Okay? It is what it is. It may have been that you were going to take a trip. I believe that. That's all women talk about is taking a trip. And you know what? I believe your little boy toy, I believe he saw that as an opportunity. Hey, yeah. Let's get some passports. No. Oh, I think you got reeled into some shit and never saw it coming. I think you never saw it coming. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this. Protect him if you want to, but I own him. I don't understand Listen, how I'm protecting I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Those investigators that were sitting right here, they own him. They own him. 
Ain't your boy toy no more. That song Carmichael and Detective Shirley's boy toy from this point on. From this day forward, he ain't yours. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's up to you, sweetheart. Let me ask you a question. You ever seen what a little young boy does when he's sitting in a chair interviewed by the detectives thinking about he may spend the rest of his life in prison? Mm -hmm. They cry like little girls. I'm so sorry. Especially when I get done with my little story about the monster or feeling, you know, like you feel bad about it. That it's going to happen. It don't matter how many times you call him. And I said out there, well, she's going to call him. I told him that. She's going to call him. And we laugh because it don't matter. It don't matter how many times you call him. From right here in this room, it ain't going to matter. Call it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm saying if you did, if you called him 50 times right here, it's the same end result. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. We'll laugh. We will. It's the same end result. He's going to do the same exact thing sitting right here. Then it really don't matter if he even says anything. They own him. There's no doubt. I just don't believe he did this. You don't have to. And I want to believe that. I don't, I want to say there's no way Tracy knew he did this. I don't believe he did this. Well then, that's my point. That's the point we're trying to get at, Tracy. You don't believe he did this. Okay? You don't believe he did this. There's no point in lying about this right here then. You can tell the truth about this. If you truly didn't know he did this. I don't, I mean, because I, I am telling the truth. As far as I know, I am telling the truth. I went in that neighborhood to find drugs. I had been up late. We had been up late. Who's we? Drinking. The tattoo guy was over there. Who's we? Who's the tattoo guy? Uh, Seth. Seth who? Arnold. Okay. And, and Seth Arnold and who else was there? Uh, my son and some of my son's friends. Let me ask you this. Was Brett there? Yeah, he was there. At your house that night? Uh-huh. What night was that? Um, Thursday night. Thursday night? Mm hmm Sweetheart, you're, all, you're so close to being there. It's unreal. You're so close to telling the damn truth right now. It's unreal. I'm going to ask you a thousand questions that I already know the answers to. The only thing is, is at the end of the day, when I walk out of here and say, that girl's a jam up mama. She loves her boys. Don't mind a boy toy or what. She's a mama first. You understand? Sweetheart, you continue to fucking lie about this, and it don't fucking matter how good of a mama you are. Your kids are going to be, you know what I'm saying? It, it's bad. You understand? Because the people are going to look at you like you're a monster, like you're lying. I know they are, because okay. I, and I ain't even Sweetheart, anything. we know that while you were in that neighborhood, it may have been to keep that boy from doing something stupid because you got a win of what was fitting to go down. It may have been for this. And the truth is, I already know. But if you don't tell it, then fuck it. There's a reason why you were there that you lying about it. And it's going to get to a point, Tracy, where I'm going to say fuck it. Because I can only beg you to take this weight off your shoulder so long. But I don't, I don't understand what... Okay, I so didn't take him over there. He didn't go, he didn't ride back home with me. So let me ask you this. When you left that morning, was he still at your house? Yes. Okay, when you got back, was he still at your house? Yes. Was he with you when you went over there? No. Stop! Stop! He was not, why would he be in the car with me? Oh my God. I'm not saying he was in the car with you, sweetheart. I'm real good at what I do. I'm not saying he's in the car with you. He could have been right in front of you or right fucking behind you. No, no, not nobody was in front of me or behind me. <laughs> Sweetheart, we know why you were there. Why was I there? Why am I going to tell you everything? I was there to freaking find drugs. By who? Who would you go buy dope from? For the, whoever I was What's his to name? To, Eric. That's all I who? know. Somebody named Eric. Eric? Yeah, it's the third house on the right. I could have been on the wrong road. White boy or black boy? He's white. She said he was white, his name was Eric, and she had bought tabs from him before. So, you could call Brandy right now and her not knowing that I'm sitting here and say, hey, tell me about that guy there. And if that's the truth, on your phone, she'll go, yeah, I told you it was the third house on the left. 
But if she says, what the fuck are you talking about? We're going to have a problem. Are you willing to do that? Yeah. Call her. Put it on the speaker phone right here. <laughs> now, it depends on who's around her, because if she's at home and her husband's around her, she's not going to say yeah. She won't, her husband won't know what you're asking. To say, she's was it the funny. To say, was it the second or third house? The only reason why I let you make that phone call right there was for you to put yourself in a position where you start telling the truth because I already know the truth. I was just going to let you embarrass yourself. Not for the fate of me getting some glory out of it, but only hoping that you would say, damn, Scott, what do I do? Let me ask you a question. Do you not trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Because, you know, I could have stayed out there and not even got involved in this. Yeah, I know. I didn't, I didn't have to come in here. Okay? Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. What it involves people I know, okay, I don't get involved. All right? You're lying. I'm not lying. Tracy, I want you to look at me. It don't matter how you smirk or whatever. I've seen it. I've seen what they got. It's indisputable. Do you, what do people do as their biggest downfall? What do you mean? This diarrhea of the mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. They talk to people they think that they can trust. Mm -hmm. Me and you, we done been around the block a few times. We've learned how easy people run their mouth. Do you think some dumb kid has? When you was his age, did you had you learned that lesson yet? No. Your boy too is a fucking retard. I just don't see how he could have done this. I'm gonna tell you right now, he's a fucking retard. <sighs> he's so stupid that he's talked to people about this. Okay. And the reason why we know certain things is because he's whispering into the phone, okay, with you in the car. You can hear you talking in the background. Okay, you're right there with him. So we know when and when he wasn't. The people he's talking to are fucking recording this conversation. Don't you know people are telling their own brother for crime stoppers money? For, for <laughs> fucking $10. They get a six pack of beer. We got people, they're telling their own mama for six, for six pack of beer. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you say that you wasn't with him at certain times, we know that's a lie. We know that's a lie. We know it. But he was not. Sweetheart, hang on, stop, hang on. That morning. Either listen to what I'm saying. He may have been talking to somebody. We got times when you were in the car with him, and we got times when you weren't in the car with him. But he was talking about himself, and he was talking about you, and things he was going to do. You understand? After he had done something stupid and before he'd done something stupid, stop it. There's nothing that we have that we're willing to tell you about that implements you as knowing something about this. But we do know, we do know that you know some of his involvement. You may not have known he was killing somebody. You may not have known that he was going to commit a crime. But we do know why you were there that morning. Let me ask you this. Was your son in the car with you? No. Uh-uh. Nobody was in the car with me. Okay. Was your I son in the car in front of you or behind you? No. Did your son call you to come to that neighborhood? No. Okay. But then it was Brad. Did. Brad didn't call me to come to that neighborhood. Sweetheart. There ain't but two things gonna drive a woman out like that with something like this going on. A mama's going to do anything in the world they can for their children. Okay? All right? And that woman also, when she's stupid about a boy, will jump out and do dumb shit too. 
And that's where I want to believe you at. It's stupid about a boy. And that's where you are right now. But nobody, nobody was behind me or in front of me. Nobody was in my car. That's fine. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you were following. I know why you were in that neighborhood. I already told you a minute ago. I'm not going to say that you dropped him off. I'm going to say that you picked him up to see if you told him you dropped him off. I'm not going to tell you you were behind somebody if you were really behind somebody. I'm going to wait on you to tell me why you were really there. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Do you think I believe you were behind somebody? No? Because if so, I wouldn't have presented the question like that. Sweetheart, we know why you were in that neighborhood. They got you dead to rights on that. You're lying. They can prove that lie all day long. I'm going to let you know that. I got no reason to lie about it. Right? I didn't even have to come in here. Right? You believe that, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So, they'll probably be back in here in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. All right. Um, don't lie to them. You ain't got to, Maybe it's the fact that you know me. You don't want any embarrassment with me or something like that. I I tried to shoot all that out the door for you, okay? There's nothing to be embarrassed about with me. I said I've seen it all. You understand? Don't lie to them, okay? They already know. You believe me when I say that. They already know. All right. Can I have something to drink? Yeah, we'll get you something in just a second. Okay. I said, lying. <laughs> That's all I said. But I told him. I said, I tried to. This is the thing. Most people do come in here a lot. One, because they're scared. Okay? Most of the time, they have to be embarrassed or checked or realize that, that it is what it is for them to go. And most of the time, they start crying. I'm sorry I lied. I was just scared. I'm going to be honest. I told him. I said, I'm going to have to get that girl to a point where she realizes that she knows. And then she'll lie, and she'll cry, and she'll say she's sorry. And it ain't no hard feelings at the end of the day. What is it going to take to get there? I mean, I, I really, if I'm lying, I really Okay, don't so you don't think Brett had anything about. to do with this? I really don't. I don't All understand right. how he could. So if Brett didn't have nothing to do, if you don't think Brett had anything to do with this, and he knows, and there was no reason that he would think that you know that he had anything to do with this, right? Call him. I mean, why would I want to call him? Why would I even want to Hang on, sweetheart. If you know he didn't have nothing to do with this, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't have any reason to think that you would, then he'll answer the phone for you. We both know, one, you're not going to want to call him. Two, we both know if you do call him, he's not going to answer the phone. And then you know, without a doubt, you can't lie to me anymore. No, he don't always answer okay, the phone. Okay, well, call me. him. Let's try it. <laughs> Why, though? I Put mean, the phone down. Let's call him. I just want to get you to that place, sweetheart. But I don't understand what I'm lying about. Hang on. Call him. It, just so I can show that you're being honest and you're not doing things sneaky. You mind if I look at your phone while you do it? Did you just delete his number before I looked over? Uh-uh. It's in here. All right, go to your recent calls. I don't have any. That's why I was trying to get my son to ride home. Baby, you deleted all your recent calls before you walked in here. I always delete my calls. Baby, no girl does that. Oh, look at my messages. I even delete my messages. The only messages Hell I Hell yeah, you did. You know why, Tracy? Why? Because you're lying. Tracy, you're lying. You are like There's no... See, you think I'm sitting here lying and I had something to do with that. Tracy, I think that you're scared that he may have. And you don't want to be the one to say it. Tracy, you just... You, you've deleted everything, baby. And I did. I did delete everything. And I didn't really mean to. But I always deleted How did you everything. accidentally delete everything? Let me show you how... I accidentally is. delete one thing. No, watch. Let me show you. You hit edit and clear. And I accidentally hit clear all. And I did not mean to. Okay. Well, then go to your see? messages. If you don't mind. Because I want to see if you accidentally deleted all of them. 
No, I didn't. I delete my messages after most of my conversations. I don't with my son, and I just text her earlier because I got to talk to her about a file at work, and I don't my daddy's. And I didn't this one just so in case I needed it. Okay, so you've been seeing this man since March, right? When was the last time you talked to him? Uh, earlier today. Earlier today? Mm hmm Okay. Where was he at? Uh, I, don't, I didn't ask him where he was at. When was the last time you saw him? Um, yesterday. You saw him yesterday. Where were y'all at when y'all saw each other? At the apartment. At uh, whose apartment? Mom. Tracy, please stop lying to me. Stop. Me? Hang on. I need you to stop lying to me, okay? Because in a minute, I'm going to start looking at you like you're a monster, okay? Come on, baby. That's ridiculous. You've erased everything out of your phone? I did. Stop, Tracy. Stay to you. It don't matter how many times you smile. I didn't okay, mean listen to, to me. Them. You're a pretty girl. You ain't got to do that cute little grin or whatever. I'm not doing that. Okay. That smile is something I accidentally do when I get nervous or I'm upset or Listen anything. to me. Look at me. You know more than ever now I'm going to be looking at you like a monster. When you're deleting all that shit out of your phone, don't tell me it was an accident. You're lying out your ass. Okay. I okay. guess I'm just lying about everything. Okay, you're deleting all that out of your phone. Okay, I asked you to call Brandy to drop of a dime. I asked you to call him. Why would I do that? I just told you the man's a suspect in a murder investigation. And I just Hang on, unless you're a part it. of it. No, what you said, why do I want to bring him into all this? Sweetheart, you, I don't think he's in Sweetheart, there. you didn't bring him into this. I brought him into this when I talked to you. Had you said his name or did I say his name? You did. Okay, so you didn't bring him into nothing. So you shouldn't have any... The second I said, call him yourself. Shit, my man ain't done nothing. Let's call him. <laughs> we'll call him. Call him. I got to find his number. That's real funny, baby, that you can't find his number. And I saw you clicking on some buttons before I asked you if I could look. What's his last name? Is it going to be under his first name or his last name? There it is, right there. All right, let's call him. Put it right there. Put it down there where I can hit it. Flat on the fan. Hello? Brett? Uh, yeah? Hey. Hi. What you doing? Not It's Tracy. Hi. Hi. You want to tell me anything else? Brett. This is Scott. How are you, bud? Good, how are you? Just to make sure I'm talking to the right Brett that I think I'm talking to, what's your last name, Brett? Kelly. Brett Kelly. Okay. All right. Brett, you in Macon? Uh, yes, sir. Where you at, Macon? Are you, am I in Macon or do I live in Macon? Are you in Macon? No, sir. Where you at, buddy? Warner Robins. Warner Robins. Where are you at in one Robbins? Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. That's some good stuff, man. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Your girl, Tracy here has been honest with me, okay? All right. Yes, I want to see if you're as honest as she has. In the last hour, how many times has she text messaged you? Yeah. Probably five. Five times. Okay. All right. Cool. Let me ask you a question, Brett. You gonna come see me? I can. You know who I am, right? Uh, no, sir. Well, you know what I am, right? Uh, no, sir. I don't know your name. No, I'm saying if she's text messaged you in the last hour, you know she's down here talking to the police. I've seen the messages. She thought she was going to delete them, but I got to them a little faster than she could. So you know she's talking to the police, and I already know you know that. Yes, sir. All right. So you going to come see me? Yes, sir. All right. You going to come? Where are you going? You going to come down here to City Hall? Uh, where do you want me to come to? All right. Come to the detective bureau, Brett. Yes, sir. Um, it's located at the corner of First and Poplar. All right. Yes, sir. Whether you show up or not, it's gonna tell me wonders, man. Okay. Well, I'll be there, no doubt. How long is it gonna take you to get here, my friend? Uh, about thirty 
35 minutes. All right, listen now, we're going to, me, me and Tracy, we're going to hang out until you get here, okay? That's fine. You're a good man. I appreciate you, brother. All right, bye. Tell me what number what that was you called him on. 920-0873. Mm -hmm. 678. Why has he got a 678 there? I don't know. His, a lot of people down Pull there. Pull that up. 678. I need to smoke. Can I smoke a cigarette? Sweetheart, I won't let you smoke because you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I never expected in a million years that me and you was going to, hang on, I'm going to put oh. that phone in here. 678, what was it again? 920. 920. 0873. 0873. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be honest with you. I normally come in here and I use interview tactics and stuff like that to get people to tell the truth. I never expected to get on this road with you. I'm a little surprised. I'm just being honest, okay? We know each other coming. I know we weren't the best of friends, but I felt like we walked on the same side of the road for a long time. And you ought to know how I've lived my life to know I don't judge everybody. You know what I'm saying? I know. But you've lied to me so many times. And everybody, listen to me, stop, 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 stop. You've lied to me so many times, it's crazy, baby. I know you deleted your stuff. You would delete them every time you text. Stop, 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 stop. You don't want to know when I deleted it on the way here, and I did not mean to. Sweetheart, you were text messaging that man from right here. No, no, I was not texting him. I he was said, texting my son. Hold up. Baby, you've been here way over an hour. Hang on. Sweetheart, in just a few minutes, I'm going to tell you everybody you text message. Okay. Don't you know we work homicide? Oh, I'm sure. Okay. How quickly do you think I'm going to have your phone records? So pretty quick. Bam! Got them. Okay? So don't tell those lies when I can prove them that fast. I know you've been text messaging him from right here, and in a minute I'm going to prove it. Okay? okay. At, all right? You've lied. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And guess what? Your man ain't going to show up. Okay? He ain't coming. Hell no, he ain't coming. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Do me a favor. You can lie to me all you want to. Okay? You've decided that your shoulders can carry the weight of that. It can't. You're going you're gonna to collapse. I've seen it too many times. My shoulders can't carry the weight of it. You're going to fall. Okay? Do me a favor. I'm going to walk out of here, and I'm going to go down the hall and talk with these other investigators. Because now we have Brett coming down here. I need to let them know that. Okay. Will you do me a favor? If I ask you to do me a favor, will you do it, and can I trust you to do it? Will you put your phone on that side of the table and not touch it while I'm gone? <laughs> but, my, look, it's 2.30. My son's getting out of school. I already saw on your message. Will you, will you work that sure. out, get him a, a ride? Yeah, she just texted. She said he's right Okay, so will you set your phone on the other side of that table for me, just so I can know that I can trust you to where you won't try to interfere with him coming down here. So I'm chatting Okay, listen, I'm right in the middle of a single eleven interview. Yeah, I can't do this. Okay. Will you sit that down there? I'm gonna put it right here. Can I smoke? Do you want me to bring you a cigarette? I got a cigarette. Girl, you can smoke. I can smoke in here? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Do you feel bad about lying to me? I just wanna know, do you feel bad? I mean, I don't know how I can feel bad when I really don't know what I'm talking about. You have lied over and over and over again, and you already know. Do I look like I'm stupid? Mm -hmm. Just like when you told a lie, I accidentally deleted all that shit. You knew I wasn't going to believe it. You already knew that. But I got to prove it I in your mind. Hang on. You know I, you know I, you know I, I ain't going to believe it. But I'm just asking, do you feel bad about lying to me? Yes. I have you feel hard. I really did not mean to delete that on the way here. Sweetheart, let me tell you something. I, Why I'm, do y'all always automatically assume that somebody's always fucking lying? I am ask. not sitting here lying about that fucking phone. I am not lying about it. And I'm tired. I'm tired of all this shit. Look at me, Tracy. I know it's hard for you. And that's why you're crying right now. Because I'm tired of it. I you believe have it. no idea the stress There's no that doubt. I have. That man has drugged you into so much bullshit right now. It is crazy. 
And you're willing to sit here and carry the weight of that shit? Really? Hell no. That's retarded. I'm going to be honest with you. There's no point in you lying from this point further. After When I walk out of here, unless you knew everything that was going down before it went down. There's no reason to lie. Any point. Because you see, it don't take me about five seconds to make you feel retarded. You ain't never got to tell me the truth. I can make you sit in your own seat and feel retarded without ever being honest. <laughs> you done felt retarded sitting here about three or four times. I know it. I'm real good at what I do. Okay? And you have felt retarded and you knew in your mind, that's something this knows I'm lying here, but God, I'm going to keep telling this lie. Ah! Why? There's no point. Unless you had something to do. I'm going to be honest with you. You got to decide how... What, what's been to go down here? Are you coming over this fence or what? You're lying. I can prove you're lying. I tell you what, I'm not going to prove you're lying. I've already told you. This is their case. I'm only here to help you. It is Katie Register. It says Scott's phone must be dead. Okay. If you want, when it rings, since you're being honest with me, since you're allowing me to let it sit over there, when that does it, do you want me to tell you who's calling and stuff? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'll tell you who's calling and stuff. Um, you know he's not coming. Just like when you said, I, I don't know if he's coming. Hell no, you know he ain't coming. He'd have to be a damn idiot to come down here. And you know that. But you know you got to say the right thing. I don't know if he's coming. But I don't know why he wouldn't come, because I don't understand how he would have done any of this. Sweetheart. That's sad. You're right. I can't understand how he did it either. Has anybody ever showed you the pictures of this lady? No, I don't want to see them. Please don't show them to me. Has anybody ever showed you? Because you know what? When I see it, I don't even know this woman. I don't want to see him. Please and let me tell you something. You know this woman. And I got a feeling you're going to look at those pictures today. Okay? Because you're fucking lying, Tracy. You're fucking lying. And it's horrible what happened to that woman. Tracy, it's horrible. The detective surely tell you what happened? A fifth, she's a grandmother and a mother, and somebody did those things to her? What the fuck? And you're lying about a case involving that shit. You're deleting phone calls and messages about a call. Right? And you can call me a motherfucker. You can call me a bastard. You can say you're sick of it all you want. I'm not going to change who I am just because we're friends. Okay? Oh, yeah. I already know that's a lie. And I'm not going to say, oh, Tracy, I believe you when I fucking don't. Okay? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what it is. Uh, it says, Katie Register, Scott's phone must be dead. It's just doing that same yeah. thing again. Yeah. Do that over and over again. I'll do this for you. For some reason, you want to carry this weight up here. Here in a little bit, you're not going to carry that weight anymore. Okay? I don't know you like the best of friends, but I think I know you well enough to know you're not a monster and you're not going to be able to hold that weight much longer. And there's going to be a matter of time while you're down here today that you're going to go, I already know it. You're going to say, all right, I want to say, and if you feel better with me being in here, you can say, look, okay, you know, it is what it is. I can tell you this. The detective that sat right here, Detective Shirley, he's one of the best guys in the world. Okay? He's one of the best guys in the world. His supervisor, saw Carl Michael, I mean, they're like family. Nobody here is wanting to throw rocks at you, Tracy. But they are starting to wonder, what the fuck? And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm not going to lie about it. When I walk out of here and they say, does she know? I'm going to say, fuck yes, she knows. She's lied 50 times over. I already know it. If your kid was, if a five-year-old kid was sitting here watching this shit on TV, they'd know you're lying. How many times you caught your old man lying to you? Tons. Did you ever need him to tell the truth in order to know he was lying? Fuck no, because you knew when he was lying. I know you're lying. You li you've lied to me so many times in here today. Scott, I have not lied. I did not lie to you about my phone. Yeah. I accidentally, I and I do always delete my messages. I understand. I understand. That's a lie. <laughs> That's okay. Look at me. Look at me right now. I'm not mad at you. 
I told you I don't judge. You can lie to me all you want. At the end of the day, you're grown, and you're going to decide if you can carry the weight of this. I'm going to be honest with you. It don't matter how long I've known you. If I'm going to carry the weight of something on my shoulder, and be like, look, Tracy, it is what it is. You just got to let me hold this weight. I'm going to lie to you. You know, don't hate me. I ain't going to hate you, but you're lying, and them shoulders are going to get heavy. There's no way around it. Drink that water, girl. I'm going to. Look, I'm going to go tell him what's up. Can I trust that you're not going to pick up that phone? What do you want me to do with that? Just spit in that trash can and put it out. So here, pour a little water in there. Okay. Here, wait a minute. I'll pour it over it. Use that as an ashtray. Ain't got no cookies. You pick Katie, it up. Uh, can I answer Katie though? Because it's wrong again. You mind if I watch? No, I don't mind. She said text on. Can I text on Yeah, your son? Yeah. Sure. Squirrel, you can do whatever you want to do. This is your phone. Okay. I mean, God was asking you to do me a favor. Put it back on me. You don't mind. Thank you very much. Now, it is what it is. If you're going to lie to me, you're going to lie to me. I'm only going to ask questions hoping at this point you'll tell me the truth. If you lie to me, just lie to me, Tracy. I ain't going to be mad at you at the end of the day. For whatever reason, you got your own reasons why you're lying. Okay? okay. Is that is that a fresh tattoo? Yeah. Why are you picking at it's it? It's itching. Hmm. <laughs> You want some lotion or anything for it? No, it should be fine. What kind of car is he in? I, I really don't know. I what don't kind know. of car was he in yesterday when you saw him? He he was at the house. I don't know who he came there with. Who all was at the house when you when he was there? Um, Dale and Dylan and Hunter and Nick and um, Juan, this guy named Juan. Who now? They friends of your They're sons? All Scotty's friends. So Scotty was there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if we talk to Scotty, then Scotty will be able to confirm that he was there yesterday. Yeah. Okay. What cars were at, at your apartment yesterday? Um, Dale's and Hunter's and um, Dylan's. Which apartments do you live at? Rutland. Rutland. That's mm -hmm. what I thought. Let me ask you this. Let's say, for instance, that you don't know what happened. I don't believe that. But I'm just saying, let's say, for instance, because I'm going to be honest with you, there's no point in you to tell the lies that you told unless you knew what I know. Okay? Before where I was at, I was like, Maybe she's been pulled into something she had no part, you know, didn't mean or didn't know that that was going to happen. Now, with all the lies, okay, until you get right with me and explain to me why you lied so much, I can only assume that you know, okay? So, my questions from this point are going to be we're, we're over the fence now. Mm -hmm. We're over here, okay? So, if he was going to do some dirt, and of course, in your mind, you, you've said that he wouldn't have done this dirt. Okay, like I said, we're over the fence. I know that's a lie. But if he was gonna do some dirt, who would he do it with? I have no idea. Do you know any of his family? No. None of them. Just Courtney. That's the only one. Who is Courtney? Courtney's his sister. How old is she? Um, twenty-three, I think. Does she know about y'all's relationship? I think so. I'm not sure. Well, you know why? Because he's got diarrhea of the mouth. So you know that she knows because that boy can't help but to run his mouth. So. You don't know any of his other family? Mm -hmm. No mama, no daddy, no auntie, no, no nothing like that. Mm -hmm. 
What do you, what do you, what do you want me to do? Do you want him? Sweetheart, what, he just told you he was coming. Okay, but wonder if he don't. Yeah, I won't want to talk to him. Okay. How right? do you? How can I help you make that happen? Tracy, that would be pretty step up for you to do that. Okay, if you're willing to help there. I'm willing. Okay, if you're really willing to help there, I'm going to afford you that opportunity. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you this right here. I'm going to need you to do it on my terms. Okay. Okay, because if we if I move a little too quick, it's going to hurt me, okay? We go way back, okay? But I won't lie to you. When you walk out of here, Tracy, you're not going to go to Scott play the game on me because I'm going to tell you straight up. When it comes down to whether or not I hurt your feelings or whether or not I put my hands on him, I know. your feelings are going to get hurt. I know. You understand? I understand. Okay. And I, and I feel like if he did this, then, then I'm going to do the right thing. Okay. I don't believe it because just like I didn't believe Scott did what he did or did might have did or whatever. But you know me, I'm not going to believe it unless I, unless I know it. I understand. You... I just thought about something. Something just jumped into my head. Something just jumped into my head that I hadn't put together yet. I'm going to give you an opportunity to help me out with that if you're willing to do so. I don't need you to talk to him anymore okay. until I give you the go ahead. You okay. understand? I understand. I'm going to have to know that I can trust you. And I'm going to know if you do. You I understand? Know you do. I don't have to explain all that to you, okay? Um, whatever lies you told Tracy, at some point you're gonna have to get right with those investigators. I mean, this is you know this this case ain't going nowhere. Oh, well, I know, I okay? know it's not. So at some point you're gonna have to get right, and I'm gonna be honest. It's better for it to get right right here today before we do get our hands on people. You understand? Because this is the thing. This is the way people look at it. There's certain reasons why I'm not telling you everything. Because, like I said, the people who decide your fate in this case, they want to know, is this a monster? Or is this a person that was at the wrong place at the wrong time and got pulled into some shit? Anybody can tell the truth when I lay everything out on this table. Anybody can go, damn, you got me. I'm, tr I'm trying to show that you're not a monster. I understand. I'm not going to tell you. You want me to tell you what's on here? It says, Katie Register, never mind riding with Jeremy. Okay. Okay. Um, you mind keeping your phone right there until we get no. this figured out? I'll be right back. Okay. I just had something pop in my head. I got to tell you the best case. I'll be back in less than two minutes, okay? been here by now, right? For, for one of Robins. What time was it that you called us home? You mind if I look with you? No, I don't mind. Yeah, give him a call. See where he's at. Put it on speaker again. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, where you at, man? You should have been here by now. You're on Popular Street? Yes, sir. I'm parking now. I'm trying to find a place. Okay, well listen, if you're on Oh, okay, so you're right out front. What kind of, what kind of car are you in? I'm in a Mahomes Maxima Altima. A what now? A Nissan Altima. A Nissan Altima. What color is it? Black. Okay, I'll walk out there and uh and see if I can meet up with you and and that way I can show you where to come to. Yeah, go ahead and park. Okay. 
All right, buddy. Um, you know where the first, you know, uh, if you're out on Poplar, City Hall sits at the corner of 1st Street and Poplar. All you have to do is walk down the 1st Street side of City Hall and go to that last door on the end that says Detective Bureau and just ask for Sergeant Chapman. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, buddy. Okay, thank you. I'm going to set your phone over here. Can I text Katie back real quick? Can you give me one second? That way I can say I trusted you and you didn't call him before I get out there? Well, I need to make sure Dominic got his ride. He okay. Well, she said he, he said he got the ride. Well, she said she's riding with Jeremy. I'm going to put this over here, okay? Okay. I'll be right back in two minutes. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hey. No, I'm at the police station. Yeah, where you at? No, oh, okay. Alright, I love you. A lot. <clears throat> I love you. Call. All right, listen. Okay. Call him back again. Mm -hmm. See, right now he's answering the phone. It's... <sighs> you lied. Mm -hmm. I'm only saying this to make it make sense. Mm -hmm. He's answering the phone when you call because he trusts you. He's mm -hmm. hoping that you're calling him after you've left and he can find out what's going on. But then when I talk, he knows he's got to feed me something just to pacify me. He ain't outside no black Nissan. Okay. 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 So call him this. You remember the text Shirley? Mm -hmm. I've advised him. I said, look, man, she's going to. I told him, I ain't going to lie, that you're lying about everything under the sun. I'm going to tell you what I told I him. Listen to me. When it involves certain things, but I have told him that you have agreed to help find him, and I told him to feel free to come in here. Okay. okay. So call him right now, mm -hmm. again, and keep him on speakerphone. Okay. He's probably not going to answer this time. Well, Hey, buddy. I, I'm walking now. You're walking where? I'm walking, uh, hold on, let me talk to the street. Hold on. I'm about to be coming in past Element Nightclub. Dude, you're a long ways from us, buddy. Uh, that's right. That's right where I'm just having a park, Dad. Huh. Element? What road is that on? Yep. Club Element. That's on it's Cherry on Street, Ann. Yeah, you're on Cherry Street. Yes, sir. Yeah, I needed you to come to Poplar Street at First Street. Well, I'm walking towards Cherry Street. I think I got off the where I parked my car at. I got you. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Well, I just I'm, I'm just trying to get there because I don't want to get lost. All right, well, you want me to stay on the phone with you till you walk up here? Listen, I'm gonna tell my buddy to go outside and wait on you. He's gonna be wearing like a bluish purple shirt. Okay. Yeah, what are you wearing, buddy? I'm wearing a gray shirt, blue jeans, and a red hat. Okay. All right, my buddy's gonna be. Stay I'm gonna stay on the phone with you until you find me. We sure do appreciate you coming down here, man. We just gotta get this stuff cleared up. You know what I mean? That's fine. And when I get there, can I pee? Oh, yeah, man. You can pee. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem at all. When you see an investigator out there, if you see anybody with a badge or a gun on, just tell them. Say, I'm here to see Sergeant Chapman, and they'll uh, they'll bring you right in here where you can talk to me, okay? All right, well, I got a full swing of tattoos, so you can't miss me. I got you, buddy. I hear you, man. Cool. Hey, can I, while I'm coming down here for 
Yeah, I, I, I'm going to talk to you about it. You know, when you get here, I'd rather talk to you about that on the phone. Right now, I'm talking to you on the phone. I got people around me. When you get here, I'll take you into a more private room where, you know, not everybody's in your business. You know what I'm saying? So I try to look out for other people and, and be respectful. So you're a grown man, so I'm going to be respectful and uh, treat you like a man, you know? Thank you. That's fine. Where are you at right this second? It's not like somebody's driving. Poplar Street. Remember earlier when you said you were on Poplar Street? I'm on Poplar Street. I'm in the big city hall, the white building with the big columns. I'm not at the Bibb County LEC. You're on the... I know you're not, buddy. I, I know you're not. Listen, tell me exactly where you're at. Just stand still. I'm going to have somebody come to you. Tell me exactly where you're at. What is that? Uh, What's the name of it again? Uh, R O A S L E D Cafe and Lounge. Uh, uh, is he saying Russell? Are you still on Third Street? Uh, yes, sir. I'm on Third Street right now. All right, spell it for me one more time. Uh, R O A S L E D Cafe and Lounge. Roasted. Hey, listen, he's out in front of Roasted Cafe and Lounge on 3rd Street. I told him just to stand still because he's confused about where he's coming to. And I told him y'all would come to him. He, it's called, he's on 3rd Street. It's called Roasted Cafe and Grill. He, I told him just to stop right there and I'd have somebody come to him. Okay. Okay, all right, he's standing out front. He says, hey, what kind of shirt you got on, buddy? A gray shirt, and he said he's got a whole tattoo sleeve on one arm, so he's not hard to see. And he said he's got a red hat on. I'm going to stay on the phone with him. I'm going to stay on the phone. Yes, sir. Yeah, I got you. So I'm going to stay on the phone with him until y'all get to him, okay? All right. Hey, sir, you stay on the phone with me until they find you, okay? All right. Is anybody walking up to you yet? Uh, one of them's wearing a t-shirt and a hat, and uh, the other one's wearing like a polo shirt. Uh, no, sir. Nobody else. All right, give them just a second. They didn't realize you were so far away. I'm just, I told them to help me out and come to you, but they'll be to you in just a minute. I don't see nobody 
Hang on, I'll call them again and see where they are. You just be happy. What's the address on the front of that place? Trust is on second. You're okay. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Hang on. Stay at that Sun Trust Bank, okay? All right, I'm going to stay on the phone with you until somebody gets to you because I can't get these other guys to answer the phone. Hey, no, he's right in front of, he's actually on 2nd Street. He got confused. He's at the SunTrust Bank on 2nd Street. SunTrust sits right there on the corner of 2nd and, uh, and whatever. Um, not 2nd and Cherry, but 2nd and, uh, you know what a SunTrust Bank is on 2nd Street? All right, he's right out in front of that. All right. Sorry, Chapman. Yeah. Okay. All right, Tim. So, you got on what kind of shirt, buddy? Okay, and you're standing outside. I'm standing directly in the front. Okay. All right. Let me call my other buddy back. Your phone ain't gonna go dead or nothing, is it? Hey, y'all got into the SunTrust Bank yet? Are you in a car or are you on foot? I'm on foot. What color shirt you got on? A gray one, right? Hey. Hey. He says he's got a cop car coming up to him. Okay, good deal. All right, they're walking up to you, buddy. Do you got... Is there, okay, is there an investigator? Can you see him? That's right. Let me know. Give him your phone so I can talk to him to ensure that's them when you get up with him. All right, buddy. I'll see you in a minute. I got a pee. You got a pee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be in there with you in just one minute, girl. Okay. Let me grab my sprite real quick. Pepperoni. 
On November 18, 2013, Tracy Jones pleaded guilty to malice murder, three counts of felony murder, aggravated assault, burglary, false imprisonment, and theft by taking, all stemming from the October 2012 death of Gail Spencer. The trial court sentenced Jones to life without parole for malice murder, along with several additional concurrent sentences for other offenses. Three suspects accused of murdering a Macon woman were denied bond this morning. 58-year-old Gail Spencer was found dead in her home on Stinsonville Road Saturday morning. Her body was found after firefighters responded to a welfare check. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams has been following this story closely and joins us now with the details. I obtained a copy of the arrest warrant for three people charged with murdering Gail Spencer. It states Spencer's death was a result of, quote, suffocating at her home. Courtney Nicole Kelly and Michael Brent Kelly were arrested and charged along with Tracy Michelle Jones. According to Spencer's former boss, Calder Pinkston, Jones used to work with the victim. No word if the Kellys had a relationship with Spencer. Investigators say when Spencer's body was found at this home, there were no signs of forced entry and her car wasn't there. 41 NBC first showed you this video last night of a silver Acura being pulled from the church parking lot. I spoke with police today who confirmed the car belonged to Spencer. Spencer's body was found with no visible injuries. She was discovered after neighbors noticed suspicious activity and called police for a welfare check. Since we were not sure, we went ahead and started an investigation like we usually do, treat it as a homicide until we get the autopsy results back. Uh, we got the autopsy results yesterday morning and it was ruled as a homicide.